Hey everybody and welcome to Talk Chain, the podcast where we get into all things crypto. My name is Matt, Rob's above me. What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about Google finally getting into blockchain technology and it seems like they've been getting into it for a while but finally we have some uh, reporting going on. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe, like, leave us a comment. It would really help us out. But uh, let's just get into it. So Google, one of the one of the FANG stocks, is developing its own distributed digital ledger. And uh, yeah, the, the article that came out from Bloomberg today, uh, pretty vague, I got to say. I was hoping to get more details on what exactly it would be doing, but <clears throat> the article kind of outlined where where Google was thinking and uh, and the different companies that it was bringing on to uh, to create this technology and integrate it into its own systems. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what they do. It looks like it's still in the very early stages and the sources are kind of anonymous and don't want to be disclosed. So they couldn't really give up too much information without kind of disclosing their identity, I assume. Mm. So it's, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this all unfolds. Yeah, so they, they talked about this this distributed digital ledger. Uh, so third parties can use it to post and verify transactions. So the distributed ledger part, uh, I think they're they're hoping to use that for their, their cloud computing um, and their other cloud storage uh, technology that exists and is, uh, is being used. It's a pretty big business right now. Uh, Amazon and IBM, a lot of these companies are involved in the, in the uh, cloud, the cloud uh, business. So I think, I think all of them are kind of trying to use blockchain in a different way to, to make things more secure and decentralized. So one of the, one of the things that they, these companies don't want is the liability of having all of this data in their hands that they need to keep secure. So if they can instead spread this around and make it decentralized or uh, at least less centralized than it is now, it could be a big advantage security wise. Definitely, especially when you see the the fallout of what's going on with Facebook with their um, yeah. with their data breach. Google, I can only assume, has exponentially more data yeah. than Facebook ever will. But just like anything that you've ever looked up, they will have access to, which is pretty interesting. But yeah, just keeping that secure is is really important for everybody we all see the the hacks the celebrity hacks that have happened uh from the cloud just like pictures of everyone re releasing mm -hmm. and i think if you can stop that i think people will be more likely to get involved with with the cloud i know i kind of avoid it because of the past circumstances plus nobody wants to see me naked anyway so 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 yeah and that's and that's gonna really help help their business anyway yeah i think it would be a big help in terms of uh security in that way or at least like reducing liability even though you know it's we're talking about mixing centralized and decentralized uh <laughs> methods here and we <laughs> thinking about yourself <laughs> naked <laughs> it's a funny one. Oh, that's so good so okay we've talked about other so we've talked about telegram that also wants to integrate centralized and decentralized uh, systems into their platform and this is no different so it's still going to be semi-centralized but they're they're trying to incorporate these decentralized aspects to to get the best of both worlds when it comes to things like scaling which is better in a centralized fashion and the security which is better in a decentralized manner yeah well just seeing um it, the technology in bitcoin and carrying that over if anyone wants to check the or if anyone wants to attack their blockchain, it's going to take a significant amount of effort and a large number of participants in order for any of it to be hacked. Just just from like a simple 51% attack perspective, it's not going to be easily done when everybody that's operating with the cloud is going to be one of the computers who's contributing to the blockchain. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And, you know, that's... Uh... That's ideal. So it's 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 like much better than than the systems they have now, which are still pretty good. But it seems like, you know, there there's still some vulnerabilities that they have to continue to maintain, um, which isn't ideal. But uh, well, especially if there's just, if there's just one rogue dude at Google who knows the cloud inside and out, then 
then things can really get out of hand pretty quickly. But that'll make it impossible. Yeah. So exactly right. So if it if it is decent, truly decentralized, then even Google themselves will not be able to to get this data. To technically speaking, but you know, I don't know. A Apple had this too, right? Like they didn't create any backdoors to their iPhones, but I think some companies come out now and said that for X amount of money, they can crack into any iPhone. So uh, I don't think that I think that something decentralized like blockchain is probably much harder to crack than than an Apple device. Uh, but who knows, like in 50 years, how the technology is going to evolve. But you know, this is I think this is uh, a good. A good thing for their business and uh, and for everybody's peace of mind anyway definitely one other thing i found interesting was that google looked at the technology from the hyperledger consortium i was just gonna which, bring this up yeah. yeah now it's super interesting because for those of you who don't know major players involved are cisco ibm hitachi intel jp morgan wells fargo and a ton of other companies so to show that like all of these companies are cooperating and Google's also paying attention to what's going on really means that there's going to be some big steps forward. Yeah, and and that when they talk about uh, scale to run millions of transactions, I think of, of something like Nano where they have multiple blockchains that can connect and talk to each other, which is really the way that Nano is able to to get these transactions to scale as much as they do. Uh, so doing something like that for, for Google for in whatever different way they want to, because we really don't know from this article, I think uh, I think would be pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's going to be interesting. Uh, unfortunately, the article doesn't go into too many details of how everything is going to break down or even what kind of space that they're looking into aside from the cloud. They really just say that they're trying to um, explore other ways that it can be used with some of their operations and without really yeah saying anything about it yeah so some of these companies that they invested in here uh we have ripple we have ledger x there's a storage company um that that actually was uh, is kind of an interesting way to to get that decentralized storage as they uh they use people's um personal storage that you can rent out to this company and have people put it on your machine and get paid in that in the storage cryptocurrency. So I think that's kind of be kind of how they they integrate for the the cloud computing. And just so people get a sense of how big the cloud computing market is, uh, I looked up some stats from Gartner.com and in 2016, Rob, guess what the revenue was for for all cloud computing? One hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Great, great one. Uh, Twenty-two billion dollars. Twenty-two billion. It's yeah. way more than a hundred. With Amazon taking almost fifty percent of that, so uh, I think Amazon is oh. going to be a, a big player. They've already had a had a blockchain partners website where you can uh, submit a proposal for uh, innovation or whatever, and they can see how they can integrate that into their into their uh, AWS system. So. I think Amazon's jumped on board with this, and uh, and it would be wise for for all the tech companies to do so. Yeah, it it'll be interesting. I I don't know if it makes too much of a difference for the average consumer um, whether or not they operate on blockchain, because I don't think the average consumer completely understands what the what that would mean for them. But I think it would once the technology starts to gain momentum. And people start to understand a little bit more that it's the most secure that their information could be at this time. And I think you'll start to see some mass adoption with whoever whoever decides to take it up first. Yeah. And also, well, I think there's a cost saving, too. So if these companies are become very good at integrating blockchain, I think they'll see a lot of cost savings, especially when it comes to supply chain things. Uh, it might be more convoluted when it comes to the, the cloud storage and, and seeing cost savings, but if they were to integrate some sort of uh, decentralized where you're using people's people's computers as storage, you could see some uh, cost savings instead of them having to keep these, these giant servers up. Yeah, definitely. Other than that, Bob, you uh, looking at any, any cryptos today? Now, Icon had a big pump on the news that uh, Bitthumb, which is a Korean exchange, the biggest Korean exchange, will be adding them to their exchange. Mm 
Mm. So that's pretty big news for for Koreans in general. Nice. Yes, I think I'm still you? tremendously down on Icon, so it's good to see uh, good to see me being less in the red, I suppose. Yeah. Well, everything is uh, collapsed entirely, so I think everyone's down everywhere for now. But what about you? Starting today, anything uh, you're looking at? I'm still keeping an eye on Ether. I think. Uh, you know, I think people run to Bitcoin when uh, when everything's going down, but I, I think that Ether is is a good buy right now. I think I probably said that when it was at 900 too, so what kind of <laughs> joke is that, right? But I uh, So I put a little money into Ether when it was at 600, and I think I might buy a little bit more now in anticipation of us uh, climbing a little bit. But we'll see, right? Tomorrow's another day. Another day. Who knows? We'll be down 10% or up 45%. Yeah, never can tell. But with that, we're going to wrap it up. So thank you guys very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, follow us on Twitter and Reddit at TalkChainPod. And uh, yeah, Rob, anything else? No, that's it. Have a good one, guys. Thanks a lot. See you next time.